Iguana. Iguana. An iguana. An iguana. Oh my gosh. Oh Jeff, give it to me. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is insane. Look at that big mess of iguanas right there. They're all massive goannas, my huge. Especially that big one back there. Oh, there he is. Oh, one second, we got him pinned. This is a giant. Hold on, guys. Oh shoot, ow, got me with the tail. Join me on a journey around the globe that will inspire you. Together, we can discover the most amazing things on Earth. Extreme people, cultures, lifestyles, sports, and foods. Ever on the edge. Welcome to Tiajupo, the most dangerous waves in the world. This is so much fun! Woo! Woo! Yes! Wherever in this world we go, there will always be extraordinary life to discover. Come join me on my journey. It's hard finding a soulmate when you travel so much. I think I finally found him. Vamos? Yes. I'm taking Panchito with me to Miami. Guinea pig. So boys and girls. Wait, wait, wait! One more scene. Today, we have an amazing opportunity to meet Cuban actress Everlyn Borges. Everlyn is not only an actress and book writer, but was also Miss Cuba and has made some interesting content about human trafficking going on here in the world. Everlyn has been featured in countless movies, books, podcasts, and photo shoots to spread awareness of this. Today, we're going to have a once in a lifetime opportunity to not only meet her, but also take her on an iguana hunting field trip. Air guns, thank you so much for sending us this. We've got the FX Pantera compact. That's massive. Look at the size of that tail right there. Oh, look at the big one. Nice work, Roddy. Yes, sir, you're getting the tire. You're getting the tire. Iguanas. They're magically delicious. What's up, fam? Iguana man back out here, and I'm back at you guys with another video. <laughs> Insane guys, um, put it like this man, we got a hurricane on the way to us right now and we're trying to do some iguana captures. We're going, it's a little field day guys before the storm comes. But hey, that's not the most exciting part. Best part is guys, is we have a special guest that's gonna be helping us out today. Hello, so I'm ready for the adventure. <laughs> Well, guys, we got Everlyn right here. Everlyn uh, Borges, is it? Borges. He doesn't even know my last name. Bo Borges like gorgeous. Borges. Oh. God, I like that. Well, you guys see right here, man, we have some extra help uh, because as you guys know, these iguanas are getting crazy. They're getting out of control. They're coming in our cities. And Evelyn has volunteered to come on a field trip yes. with you. Yeah. We're in the back country of South Florida, Miami, and there are massive iguanas. Me and her is going to go see if she can catch us. Would you like to grab this pole for me, sweetie? Oh, my God. I know. This right here is going to be our best friend. This is what we're going to be uh, using today to try to tame some dragons. Okay. You have any? I, I know you have some experience. I've seen you on TV. What's some animal experience you have? Ooh, animals. An alpaca. I fell in love in Peru with an alpaca, and of course, I have more experience with sharks on the water world. You have a bad situation. I love monkeys. Let's go catch monkeys. Oh, we're going to catch a monkey today. All right. But it's gonna be a big green one with scales and big spikes. Hey, go big or go home. Environment with the storm and stuff, animals they get they start moving and sometimes they get a little cuckoo, you know? Right, right, right. We're gonna see if we can catch them. Alright, mine's uh this can go one of two ways. We can either catch the beast or he can escape. Let's see what happens, alright? Oh, I see it, I see it. You said it's 12 pounds? Okay, stop for a sec. He's right there. Is that him right there? Oh, 
No, 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 no. It's okay. They bite each other in the neck all the time. Hold on one second. Oh. We don't want to hurt you. We just want to say hi to you. She don't wear gloves. I got my gloves. It's okay. You're safe. You're with me. You don't need gloves. Oh, pobrecita. Check this out right here. She's not going to bite me. No. Are you sure? I got him. She might be angry. But look at his tail, though. Is it a girl or a boy? Oh, hold on. I don't know. I gotta, I'm going to look at know? him real quick. Hold on one second. But you got to watch out for his tail, though. Oh. He's like, take me home, mommy. I'll be your pedo. Okay, do you know if she, I mean, you don't know if she's a girl? Mm -hmm. That's how we can tell if it's a boy or a girl. Those no way. Dogs. Yeah. The, the, those are called femoral pores. And the big goannas will have big, giant pores down there. They use that to, like, spread sand, like, hormones. So, um, is it a girl? It's a guy. It's a guy. It's a guy. Whoa. Oh, okay. So that is how we know he's macho. He's a boy. Okay. You show that like a beard and just go like, boom, 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 boom. Okay. But look at that right there. He probably just came out to get some sun and to eat because he knows the storm is coming. So the oh. tail is okay? Like it won't hit you or anything? The tail, I mean, like just like any animal, things are unpredictable. But with this guy right here, I don't think he's too big of a threat to us because we're just way bigger and way smarter. And we got him. Can and I catch him? So what do you think about the first iguana we got on today's field trip? That was rough, but... All right, well, if you think that was rough, you're in for a world of surprises today, all right? Can I do that? Can I yep. catch you? Yep. One second. Reptile. That's, that is a reptile. What is, what is it walking like that for? Oh, she's holding one out. Like it was like looking for a place to like dig a nest or something. Look, Look at this doula. Whoa. Alright, let me get this thing ready. And this is why we got hired out of here, guys. It's because these lizards, I think they're getting ready really for the Well, you. oh, you're gonna learn right on the fly, sweetheart. Yeah, this is your training right now. This is your field day right now. Okay. You asked for it. Sometimes you gotta be careful for, for what you ask for, so you're up next, alright? You might get it. Yeah, I'm next. <laughs> alright. But we have to be very very quiet. Yeah, yeah, you, I mean, that, that would definitely increase the chances of catching it because iguanas are pretty smart, you know? But sometimes they do get a little comfortable or they get territorial, so that's where we step in and try catching them. Oh. Hey, it's missing a tail. What? Let me try catching it. Hold on, I think it's looking for a nest. It's missing its tail. Wait, there's another one over here. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Okay, wait. Wait, hold on one second. That's the that's the one we want. Raj, he's running. He's right there. Right there, he's ready to go in the water. He's near that other tree. Iguana's in the bag. I think we got it, Everlyn. I need your help, sweetheart. Whoa. Oh, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, no Whoa, no bitey. Whoa. Now what I need you to do is help it's me hold. It's a girl. It's a girl? Yes. Oh, yeah. I... Look at this tail. It's a girl? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. I, I don't think I've seen an iguana like this. It's a female with a broken tail. Wow. You see that? What do you think happened to it? Do you think it got stuck in a door or something? I don't know. Maybe on a fight? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe she got eaten by another animal? Yeah, you see this. It, but they see has a problem in the tail. I'm looking at this right here. This is, uh, it grew, regrew its tail. So it lost its whole tail from this point from before maybe another iguana or an alligator. Well, that's actually what I was going to tell you because they are able to grow their tail again. It's oh, a, it's so cute. It is. It's so. So, cute. how old do you think she is? Uh, this one right here is probably in the same range of uh, three to five uh, years old. Uh, she seems like a mature female. Um, obviously, I think she was looking to you know lay some eggs, and that's one of the main complaints here. 
Can you, you do five? Yeah, it, years old? It, yeah. Because remember, when their babies are like that, but you see how heavy she is and big she is, right? Well, I don't know. Can I carry her? Yeah, sure. Perfect. Right underneath. On their like knee. that, and then you want to hold. Yep, like that. Oh, she's warm. I'm pretty impressed by the fact that she's not trying to, to like move or anything, do anything, you know, crazy yeah. like like when you catch a fish. Yeah, right? they go crazy, right? <laughs> But I think with these iguanas, what it is is um, I think they're smart. She's probably saving her energy, you know, because she was just running from us. But um, she's calm now. But you know, we don't want to test our luck too much, you know, because um, they they could you know just go crazy. But um, and they're fighting, they're fighting because they more are coming and then more like they they spread out because they, they they don't want to share the territory. Look at this one's uh, foot right here, though. Yeah, I was seeing something pretty different from the other one. Look, this one. One, two, three, four, five, and then there's only two over here. Uh -oh. Uh oh. I guess she, you know, went through some rough fight or like different the texture. Oh. Some protection on it. You notice? Right? You notice one thing about this iguana? How the other one was green, right? Yeah, very green. What though. color does this one look like to you? Orange and green and brown, black on the tail. Incredible reptile. They just keep coming out right there. This is my friend Jeff right here, and he he's, uh, does real estate. He's actually helped me with a couple different business out here. And um, he's been out here for like, I think like 20, 30 years. Yeah, like that. just uh, 30 years this past May from Nassau County, Long Island. I gotta tell you, it's a pleasure to watch Raj do his craft, one of the best in the business. And a lot of it has to do with erosion where the iguanas are building nests and tunnels to keep away from the cold. They've actually been able to stay alive longer because they figured out that the deeper that they dig underground, it's the warmer it gets and the winters are not killing as much as they used to. Area looking for some real estate, this is the guy to hit up. Look yeah. contact information description. Raj always takes the iguanas out of my clients' homes that they purchased there in Parkland, Coral Springs that are infested with iguanas. Couple of minutes, couple hours later, Raj takes care of business. And the sad thing is that it's not their fault. Well, it's God who put them in this earth. And now we are full of them, you know. But we're still on the hunt for that giant iguana, right? All right, let's go. Go big or go home. Usually iguanas all out here, but since we've been taking them out, you don't see no more. Right. And you see those trees, we wrapped them. Right. Those trees are oh, wrapped. Wow. Because iguanas would climb up them like squirrels. No way. Mm -hmm. Do you think that, that they would be like very dangerous to kids? Not really. It might be a conflict. It might. It just might be. You know? They do this kind of catching and cleaning up. Right now, we're. this is where I caught my personal biggest iguana that was 15 pounds. Wow. We're going there right now. It's about 10 minutes away. A lot of food. That's a lot of food. A mm -hmm. lot. Hey. Huh. I didn't know. Yeah, they that. asked the buyer for in, one in, bank statement. In Cuban, uh, Cuban seasoning. Yeah. And fire roasted it. They asked for it. I just got that text <laughs> from the buyer's <laughs> agent. This is looking right at it. It's like fishing for an iguana. It's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, iguana mm -hmm. on. The fish. We're catching dragons. Whoa. Another one for the bag. Look at that. It's crazy. He's green, but his dewlap is orange, Jeff. Yeah, man. He might be uh, turning maybe alpha here soon. All right, what are the man? size of those nails? Let me see. Yeah, don't those sharp, Jeff? Yeah, they just scratch it right up. Yeah. See this structure that Jeff just caught this iguana off? This tree is a perfect ecosystem for iguanas, guys. They can hide underneath it. They can climb up it. There's holes in it. They can eat the leaves. What do you see? There's, oh my gosh. Banana spider. It's massive spider. Golden orb. Too. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get that on you, man. I don't know. I wouldn't risk it if I was you. Yeah. Go for the big one, Everlyn. You can do it. He's a little bit. Right here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nice and slow. The sidewalk, Evelyn, and get past them, right?
is a bigger, this is a big old iguana, Jeff. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Iguana's on! Gosh! Oh, that took forever! No, it did not. <laughs> oh, dang! What do we do now? Put this pole down. Let's let's go down there. And okay, see if we can teach go. me, teach me. Oh my gosh! There he is. Let him get rolled out a little bit. No, he, the beast is not tired yet. Make sure he's out. You ha you're doing everything perfect right now. Now, if you want, slowly grab the pole and the string and walk down towards him. I'm gonna be right behind you. You right? mean like? Yep. What do you mean it's not? Just go like this. Okay. Yep. Just go down to him. I think okay. he might. Okay. Do yeah. I have to hold the string as I'm, well? I'm holding it with you. Yep. Oh it's okay. Why are you guys hurting the animals? Well, they're we're, no we're not hurting them. Come on. They, you know, they are not the prettiest, but I don't do that. Oh, what we're not hurting problem? them, ma'am. We're not hurting them. I told you. <laughs> it's okay. I can be here. He's not hurt. I don't know what she's talking about. Told him just like that. That is a big green iguana, Everlyn. And that is a true dinosaur. Great capture. My I'm gosh. gonna tell you what what it is. Is hmm. Don't tell me. Oh, if it's no. a boy or a girl. Um. I, I yeah. I see the dots right there. It's a boy. It's a boy. Woo! That's right. <laughs> That's a big male right there. Yeah, nice I learned fast. Hi, baby. Hi. An incredible. Oh, this is so like relaxed and not really trying to escape or anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, you know, it's really admirable, you know. Yeah, he stays still, just like a statue. You're right. That's crazy. I mean, you wouldn't He's think. He's heavy. Let me to hold him for you. Take this boy. Right, calm down, buddy. Real quick, Everlyn, look at this right here. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, shoot, I think. Quick video or photo of us real quick. That is an amazing catch. Definitely the biggest iguana of the day. All well, thanks to Everlyn right here. Now I know. <laughs> now I know how to catch iguanas. That's right. On my first intent. I think um, when it comes to humanity and sex slavery, human trafficking, especially with kids, that is that's the part that broke my heart I when mean, my friend it's told like me that. The biggest crime in the world. Generally. And you did a video on a movie on that. Yeah, I, I did a movie, that uh, a short incredible. film that has been winning a lot of different awards. All right, guys. So we're out here, and um, with Everlyn, right quick. Everlyn. Hi. Everlyn, look straight ahead. Look on the hill. Oh, this one is ready to go away. He has a lot of experience and I think she or he knows you. That's why it's called hunting and not catching. You gonna get some, you gonna lose some. Wait, he's still there. Wait, what the heck? Oh my gosh. He's in here somewhere, Jeff. He could be a lot closer than we think. They all went inside here. So this is probably a nest, Everlyn. Nest. Yeah. And Jeff is going inside the nest. Don't go inside people home. So many is crazy. Alright, we got one. It just spins out in the dirt, dude. Whoa. Oh shoot. Oh, I got our energy. Calm down. Wow. Sheila. Yeah. We'll go ahead and bag this one, but we are going to be looking for some more. It's just a massive tree, guys. I hear some running in the back there. Evelyn, look straight ahead. You see that? Look at that. Look at the size of that one. Oh my gosh. Where? Jeff, look straight ahead, Evelyn. Look at that giant. Wow. Jeff. It's like you see, uh, Jeff, you see that thing, dude? Dinosaurs. Just a massive herd of dinosaurs out here. 
That thing's huge. That thing's got to be 20 pounds, Everlyn. Yeah, I mean, like, they're running away because they know you. Look at that hole. That's a huge pack of iguanas, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Jeff, give it to me. Guys, this is insane. Look at that big mess of iguanas right there. They're all massive goannas, mate. Huge. Especially that big one back there. Guys, here. There's, a, there's a bunch of them out here. Over there? They're nesting right now, big alpha. Mm -hmm. What about those? Those are all just massive dinosaurs. Better be ready with that snare, sweetheart. I think there's a, I think there's a giant about to run out of here in a little bit. These things are outsmarting us. They're like playing like ring around the rosy with us right now. Big iguana on, guys. Massive iguana. Oh my freak. Oh, there he is. Hold on one second, we got him pinned. This is a giant. Hold on, guys. Oh shoot, ow, got me with the tail. There it goes. Oh my gosh, it's sidewinding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. All right, oh shoot. I don't know if he's just playing possum right now or if he's just waiting for me and he's gonna counter. Let's see what happens. Just relax, big buddy. Just relax. Massive breeding iguana right now. Wow. Whoa. Wow. It is a boy. Oh, that's the porch we're talking about. <laughs> it's a big boy. Woo. Tico, 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 tico. <laughs> wow. I don't think he likes being tickled everything because no? he's snarling. Okay, okay, Look okay, how he's okay. snarling at us right now. He's showing, he's showing his grill off and stuff like that. He's turning alpha right now. He's what? He might be turning alpha. Because when in the breeding season, this guy will be bright orange like a cone. I have. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful boy. Okay. So, we should let him go now. Oh, hold on one second. So, real quick, I'll show you what he'll be doing. He'll be coming out here eating grass. You see this thing right here? That's his dewlap. And what he'll do is he'll be shaking that up and down, trying to get girlfriends, like little chicas. Okay. And then he'll be doing that to probably scare off bigger or other iguana. He wants to come out here and show everybody and all the other iguanas that he's the big iguana on the property. Evelyn Borges coming out here, helping me with the iguana removal. And I just heard that you just got a new book that came out. Tell me some more about it. Yes, it's on Amazon. It's the Spanish edition. Uh, the name of my book is Siempre en el Limite. It's an autobiography of my life, but it's also sort of uh, inspirational and could be a little bit educational. Guys, to check it out, the English edition is coming up in October, also in Amazon, and it's a great read. Yes. Awesome, guys. I got my copy on the way. I highly recommend you get yours. Ooh. And guys, it's your friend Raj the Agano, man, guys. We gotta go. Peace.